Hello everyone and welcome to our Primavera P6 version 18 uh, overview course and tutorial. Our exciting course that will help you to make you an expert in this live software and you can manage many projects at the same time. Today is going to be lecture number 5 which we're going to talk about with uh, resources. Resources are very important right now and you can see that many countries they have difficulty with resources, oil prices going up and down, money fluctuations. So, yeah, so resources is very important and one of the yeah, important topic in P6 and that will help us also when we go to the advanced levels and we'll talk about net value. Uh, uh, you're going to use the resources to uh, generate net value. P6 uh, help you allocate uh, five limited resources like time, money, equipment, personnel, and material. The important uh, resources are equipment, personnel, and material. And equipment in P6 is a non-labor unit. Uh, uh, personnel is a labor unit and the material is material unit. How to track progress uh, update and how to evaluate time extension. This is very important uh, when we use the resources in P6. It's going to help us to track the progress and evaluate the extension of time. Also, if you have any delays or interruption claims, you're going to use the resources in either resources, something like that. So, yeah, the resources are very important. And we're going to focus in this exercise on an unlabor, uh, which is equipment personnel and material labor uh, is uh, your staffing plan your organizational chart from the general manager to the labor to the foreman to the engineer project managers you have your organization chart you can upload all of that into primavera and you can use it and assign responsibility so be careful labor is your staffing plan okay non labors is, uh, is is equipment. I put uh, this nice photo for the excavator so that you can remember that in the future that non labors is are the equipment. Okay, the excavator crane and graders if you are working on a highway bridge, something like that, or, or highway in the uh, roads. Okay. Material, our material like this gravel, sand, the cement, whatever you have, any material that you are buying from market are called material. And here in the uh, general of any uh, activities, you're gonna find this resource tab here, which you can go and assign resources and choose your unit and do all this kind of work. Also, you can assign resources to cost account. If your company have a costing account system, you can use the costing account codes and you can assign your resources to the cost account. And I will explain that on the live software right now. So here on the live software P6 uh, version 18 in the office building that we are using as a model for our training. Okay. Uh, remember, under Enterprise, you're going to find what? You're going to find the resources. You can add all your resources from here, from the this plus tab, and you can make OK, and you can add, by the way, a resource called P6. Uh, just showing an example. P6. OK. And then you make Next. And I will make it as a labor. I will keep it like that. OK. I will put the unit as it is. And I will keep on the default as it is. Okay. So I have added right now a labor resource called P6 as a model for our uh, uh, exercise. Also, under uh, enterprise, you will find here the uh, uh, costing account, and you will find also resource code which you can go and decode all your resources. I need to classify, by the way, I have many subcontractors. I need to classify uh, all of them so I can go and make all, by the way, contractor A, B, C, D, and I will assign the resources to that department. I will go and add department like IT, human resources, or whatever we have, okay? And also you will have the cost account. I will add mini cost account 
to my company by like this one I will call it by the way P6 just to show you guys and then you can add a description here you can go and modify and add any details that you would like to add okay so if you have costing account when your company has a costing account you will go under enterprise and you add all your cost account here so now we said under enterprise you can add a resources you can add a resources code and you can add a cost account okay let us go back again to the activities and i will go by the way activity number one start office building and i will make a sign resource i need to add a design engineer okay so i add right now design engineer is a labor okay and i need to add a budget unit for this uh, design engineer he's gonna work by the way 100 hours okay and also i can add a uh, uh, cost account to this one here you can make right click and check if you would like to add cost account like that the cost account i will add it here and i will hide all this because we don't use it right now and i will choose by the way earth work as a cost account so it is easy right now you go each activity you go assign you choose your resources and you're gonna have this in your estimate or your bill of quality and you can add the units that you have and you can add also the cost account let me go and by the way here adding something by the way of uh, design let me add something uh, okay under by the way design building i need to add uh, any, any other design like instrumentation engineer okay i will add cost account here hvac and i will add a budget unit by the way 150 oh so it, this is very easy and let me wrap up uh, this uh, this class that you can add a resource you can add a cost account you can add a resource code i hope you like this lectures and thanks so much for your watching and see you in the next lecture this is alex Hindawi, project control manager california usa